Ryobi gauge setup. To purchase, go to AliExpress and type in Flytree FSRD100V. The gauge must have this switch to calibrate. Press and hold the button until the three bars light up. That's the type of battery. Hold, then scroll to the HL setting. Tap and go to volume. Then you get the low voltage. Press and hold again. And then you set the voltage. You just press and hold the button. If it's going the wrong way, you release it and press it again twice and it'll the voltage will go the opposite direction. After playing with this for quite a while, I found that this is the low voltage setting. This is what works perfect. 50.7 volts. Then you're going to the high voltage setting. Same thing, you press and hold the button for the three bars and until you get voltage. Then you go up to 54.6 volts. You release it and you let it set. Then you, the charge button, the voltage, it doesn't really matter. That's what the gauge shows up. It doesn't change anything. And then the gauge will go back to the battery voltage or hours. And then you've got to go through the menu again. The type you've already set. The volume we've already set. That's the mode. Press and hold. You want to set it on free. That'll show your the bars will move with the battery voltage. Alarm is number two. It's I don't use the alarm. That was the factory setting. Set. This is the time that will cycle the voltage, percent, and hours. I've got it set for three seconds. So it'll cycle through that mode. The fourth terminal on the gauge will not switch the volts, percents, and hours. TIM is set for accumulated hours. GPF changes the bar gauge display. Leave it as is. VER is gauge version. Don't change it. Release all the buttons and wait for the gauge to go back to hours. Turn the key off, then back on, and the gauge should function normal. At 53.5 volts, it shows 97%. At 52.4 volts, it shows 57%, which is the bottom of the green. And then at 51.2, that's 20%, and only one bar will flash on the, on the uh, meter. Thanks for watching my video.